How's it going guys? Ty here. As always, I asked you what kind of video you wanted to see, and Eric Wynn wanted a new to your guide. So that's exactly what I'm going to give you. But before we get into the video, let's see if we can smash that like button 40 times. Making content you guys like is what motivates me, so let me know you like it. Now let's get into it. Udyr is a very flexible champ. You can play him tanky, you can play him squishy DPS, you can play him anything in between. I like to play a hybrid Udyr. I go with the pressy attack because I play a bit of an attack speed build. It's very easy to get off the 3 hit passive. Then I like to take Triumph. Always love the heals from Triumph. Take Alacrity to boost that attack speed up. Coupe de Grasse always for securing kills on the low health targets that execute. Then I like to jump into Domination, pick up Cheap Shot, and I like to pick up Relentless Hunter. I like Relentless Hunter for the move speed, helps you chase people down, Udyr being Running fast is only tactic, pretty effective. Cheap shot's good because you run in, stun him with the bear stance, and then you get the amplified damage when you pop it into Q. With the runes out of the way, let's get into some gameplay. So on Udyr, we're always going to want to start with uh, Hunter's Machete over Hunter's Talisman. The Hunter's Talisman is kind of a viable option because it gives mana, he kind of runs out of mana, but you don't really need the mana, you get blue buff anyways. And uh, once again, Machete gives you bonus attack speed. Helps you clear a lot faster. We're going to be playing Q Max, Tiger Stance, uh, Udyr. In my opinion, it's uh, by far the most effective. I've always played Tiger Stance. So we're going to pop it into Tiger Stance before the camp spawns because we want to get our third auto ready to go. So when the camp spawns, we can auto it and then pop it into Q again for the attack speed boost. So whenever you switch stances, you get an attack speed boost. So as soon as it spawns, we're going to auto it. Q again, get another empowered auto you'll see. It'll skip back up to 3 when you switch stances. So go in, auto, aut Q, auto again, and then just kite around. You can actually get the camp to drag it around a bit, try and avoid some damage. So in this matchup I'm against a Lee Sin. Lee Sin is going to be really aggressive. So I want to get on the map as fast as possible. When jungling, the fastest way to get on the map and be ready to gank, counter gank, is to go with the three camp route, which is just buff, camp, buff. So in this case, I'm going to go blue buff, wolves, red. So for some reason, I accidentally bought anal beads instead of a health refillable health potion because I'm retarded. So uh, I just realized that don't buy anal beads, buy a refillable pod. I mean, the anal beads might not be that bad, actually. Because I'm going to be brushing a team at. So I like to run down into the river. Always contest this Scuttle Crab on Udyr, pretty much against everybody. Half the time I can pick a fight with their jungler, like right now. I'm just going to try and get a juke off if I can. You pretty much win every fight early. I'm gonna flash on him. If he doesn't flash, he's dead. So now I've zoned him right out of his jungle, I can just take his camps if there's any there. Um, not sure what's going on here. I'm just baiting, baiting. This will be tragic if I die here. I should have just ran away. But, um, I didn't. So basically, when playing a fight like that, <clears throat> you want to get as many cues off as you can. Try and get... I'm gonna... I'm gonna wait for my Hunter's Talisman because I lost my blue. So basically in that fight, you try and engage with Tiger Sands to get the dot onto them and then auto them a bit. When you run out of attack speed, I like to try and stun them or stun them at some point if I need to get a C CC them. And then depending on your health, if you're just trying to like one shot somebody, kill them quick, then put it back into Q. But sometimes you can, if you need to like tank up, and tank out the fight, you can put it into uh, W. 
I think I haven't played Udi in a while. I think I could have played that better, but uh, it is what it is. So we're looking bot lane for a gank here. Don't have flash. Okay, that's clearly warded. So wards last 90 seconds. So I'm gonna be back in the next. I could come back in the next 90. Canceling auto attacks back in because I'm bad. So I'm gonna loop in through here. I'm actually just gonna use that like that. Uncover a lease in. I'm gonna actually try and ward this and then smite steal his camp. Just to be a dick. This guy got can't, can't, uh, ganked by top laner. Toxic. Um. With those minions and his little ghoul thing, I probably could have just ran out, but I don't have flash, so... They, I, I could have maybe fought them in those minions, but it's not worth it. So basically, right now, you're just looking to see the map, see where your potential ganks are. Bot lane's low. I'm gonna bomb over the wall. I Top's pushed, mid's no gank potential, no CC. No space, so I'm gonna go bottom. I'm gonna bomb over the wall. The reward's probably not there anymore. And I'm gonna try and. Oh my. I don't know what this. So we got a flash for free. And I, I want a base, anyways. So I'm not sure how that's still warded. I don't know why I'm going over here. There's no reason that I should have gone over here because I'm playing a base, anyways. So I got the flash. Make sure to take a timer down. Zyra flash, 12 minutes. Or actually, that's bad math, 11 minutes. And then we're gonna grab this. That. Always buy pink wards, always. When you get base, always pick up a pink. Lee Sin's top. You know he doesn't wanna stick around there long because his red's up. He's gonna wanna make his way down for his red. I'm gonna wanna make my way down for my blue. We're both gonna be in this zone here so naturally I'm thinking Lee could go for a lane gank bottom after doing his red he could go in through there okay so Lee went top pretty sure I saw Lee top unless that was a bug I don't think that was a visual bug. Yeah, so Lee was top, I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna take away his buff here. Get the smite off. He's gonna get silenced. Good roam from the mid laner. So their bot lane's missing, they're probably going to collapse. So I'm not gonna, I could stick around to take out more jungle. And since I've got a pink here and a pink here, I know they don't see me, I'm gonna take his raptors. If their bot lane's still trying to roam on me, then that's pretty, pretty sad. So knowing a salty Lee Sin player getting his red taken, I'm, I'm gonna leave that camp up, oh, unless that kills it. No, the dot's not strong enough. So being a salty Lee Sin player, he's probably gonna go try and steal my red, because he's salty and mad I took his, so. I mean, I could, Go run over and get it now, which is probably what I should do. But I'm gonna be greedy and just hope that he doesn't take it, and then just farm my way over there slowly because I'm want to be the most gold efficient. And providing he doesn't take this, taking all these camps is the most gold effective. I don't know why this kid's playing Quintop. That died a long time ago. That's not. I mean. Play what you want to play, but if you want to win, don't play Quintub. So I'm going to run over here and see if he stole my red. He didn't. Kite into the bush. I'm going to check the bush just in case he happens to be here, because if he was going to take it, this would probably be about the time that he'd show up. So here, I can go in for a gank on the Kog'Maw. On a Udir, you want to have Flash available. Okay, 
This guy is just shooting on mid laner. Take the Q, I dare you. So basically, in any skirmish, you look to engage with bear stance if you can. Pop into Q immediately. And, um... Just tear them apart. And then just gauge the situation. If, you, if you're about to die, put it into turtle. If you want more damage, put it into bear and stun them again. And then, uh, pop it back into Q when you can. So I like to build... Blood Razor. Yeah, that's what it's called. But I'm gonna buy another pink ward because my pink got cleared out. Somehow they cleared out this pink, but they didn't clear or they cleared out this pink, but not this pink. Oddly enough. Lee's looking to dive bot lane, so I'm immediately gonna run down there. As fast as I can. I mean I don't uh, I it's pretty risky if he goes for that, but <clears throat> I'm gonna run down here anyways. See if they do something stupid. Uh, Lee might be in this bush. I don't know. I flash up. I'm not that weird. I'm assuming Lee's there. I don't know. He, he might not have been there. I could have just potentially ganked him. But instead, I'm just going to drop a pink here. And do dragon. I still don't know where Lee is. Probably hide no bot somewhere. But I don't really care. Yeah, so there's the Lee. Okay, I'm horrible at this game. That kid just got you baited hard. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what to say, really. Um, I don't have any mana. Yeah, it's very interesting. So, what I tried to do there was flash bear stance, but um, apparently I don't know after thousands of league games how far flash goes. So, my mistake. So, I know where mid lane is. Mid lane's mid, bot lane's dead, jungle is dead. I know that no one's up, so I'm just going to clear out my jungle here and I could go back for repeat invade on his red but honestly that's not really gonna get me like it's not really gonna do anything for me like you don't wanna sometimes people at lower elo they get too caught up in like stealing people's buffs but like if I'm impacting the map I don't care if you steal my buffs like if you're just running around all you're doing is running around stealing buffs and I'm running around ganking lanes and making plays and taking towers and dragons, then I could counter gank this, but I don't want to. I just want to ping him back off the zone. So they're mainly... They're... <laughs> Hybrid damage. Heavy AP. So, uh, I'm gonna go Ninja Tabbies. Uh oh, I could be dead here. Never mind, I didn't notice how low that kid was. Okay, so, yeah, just run them over. Pop it into, get the stun off. And then uh, pop it into Q after the stun. Take him down. So Lee still hasn't gotten his red for some reason. As you can tell by I just killed him. And I don't have red buff. And he didn't get his blue either. So I mean... Okay, I think I'm disconnecting a bit. Okay, my connection is back. Uh, he might be looking to roam mid. I should go get Harold right now. That's what I should do this right now, but I'll do that in a minute. I'll do that after red. 
get red, and then I'll bomb over to the back of Harold to get it. You want to take away all the thi um, objectives as you can. Like, they're most important. So, like, instead of... I could have probably ran over to quickly ran to Lee's red, but, like, it's not worth it. I know Lee's going to be bottom side. I'm going to tell my team Lee bot because he... He wants his red buff, so he'll be down there somewhere kicking around. So I drag the Herald, yeah, there he is. Just coming out from his red. Then he's gonna go to his wolves. Then if I wanna kill him, he'll he'll have to check his blue. Eventually. So this kid looks like a free gank, doesn't have his gap closer. My Quinn's just gonna blow up. Drop my red smite. Wait, get another stun off. How? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. I'm just gonna drop Harold here because they're all bot. She had to base. I hope she doesn't have TP. And they're gonna get first tower because I'm gonna kill these minions because I think I'm pretty sure their tower loses armor if it doesn't have any minions nearby. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. So clear out those. I I probably I could definitely fight her if I based and spent my gold. I'm gonna greed here. Lee still hasn't come top, so I'm gonna greed and take his wolves real quick. This is risky, very risky. I wouldn't recommend doing this. It's risky because their Camille could roam down, cut me off like what's happening right here. Uh, oh my god. I just got a flash out of there. That was... Yeah, that was super risky, as you can see. I'm... Didn't recommend that. Not sure why their bot lane was there, too. That was... Uh, I'm not really sure why any of them were there. But it, it happens. Can't blame anyone. I knew the circumstance. I like, thought ahead. It was a calculated risk. Didn't play out from, in my favor. So I like to build Titanic and Skirmishers because it gives you very fast wave clear, very fast jungle clear, gives you lots of burst damage with the active on uh, Titanic auto attack reset. If you look like, just shred the camp. It gives you pretty good tankiness. I'm not sure. This kid, I don't know what he's doing. I, I have no idea why he's playing Quinn. So this is a risky invade, they probably got vision. Pretty sure I forgot to buy a sweeper. I don't know if this is warded, I'm gonna base here though. Okay, it's not warded. So that's why I wait there like that, then I can swing out here. Can, as you can see, that damage is insane. We're going to force the tower down. Uh, just kidding. I mean, don't have any minions, so there's no point in sticking around. No point sitting there. Just a waste of time. I've got to go top. Oh, wait, I do have a sweeper. It's just on a cooldown. So always buy a sweeper. Like, whenever you hit 9 in the jungle, like, unless you're... I don't know, just... Always buy it. Okay. So Ezreal doesn't want to auto attack for some reason. Pretty sure we can win this fight. 
Actually, there's no chance I win this fight. So I'm gonna try and clear away my red. And I'm just gonna look to split push. They're probably gonna run out for that dragon. I could probably go down and contest it, but I don't really care. It's another cloud dragon. They're not even gonna go for it, it looks like. I'm just gonna run down to it. We don't have any vision on Baron, so depending on how good these guys are, if they see the wrong people, or the right people in the wrong spot, they could try and force down a Baron. With, especially with Zyra. I don't know why Ezreal just ulted that. That was, like, we literally had 100% clue that where the whole team was. I'm gonna pop this sweeper. Can that see me? I don't know if that thing can see. I don't really know what the Poro does, to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna use Ezreal's bait. He's gonna shove this in. I'm gonna wait. Someone's gonna come run down here to defend it. I'm gonna try and one-shot him. Hopefully it's someone squishy. Duskblade lease in. Probably someone squishy. So this kid's just gonna get blown up. Okay. So that's just prime example. Knowing how to work the map. You know that someone's gonna have to come bottom to clear that wave. You know they are. I swept the bush. They, I knew they didn't have vision. You can even do the same thing here. They're still gonna keep coming. You know they've gotta come down here. Like, what is this person... Why do they all have flash and summoners? Every time. I don't know, that's annoying. But like I said, you know they've gotta come. If you can, if you're stronger, you can just sweep it out, wait in a bush. Now we rotate mid. Now we rotate. Take out the mid lane. I'm just gonna wait here. We don't have minions. Oh. Take the tower, take the tower. 80 carry, hit the tower. The. These guys are pretty horrible, so I'm just going to go bottom. They're going to get really distracted there. Oh. Lee doesn't want anything to do with me. I'm trying to pressure. We have waves down here, so I'm going to try and pressure this so we can get that mid tower, but I don't know. I'm going to actually wait a minute. I'm going to wait a minute, let them... Oh shit. I was dead. Uh, apparently there's a ward in that bush that I didn't get on my sweeper, but top has a bit of pressure. We can get some chip damage. Might even be able to take it. Probably not. Malzahar should just click R here. Apparently they deal no damage. This, this is really good. But the key is, I don't know how they still haven't got that mid tower. Flaming's not gonna help anyone. Um, I don't know, not much you can do when a Quinn's just troll feeding. Oh my god. I don't know how many times I'm going to get cock blocked with them. I could look... Ah, uh, I'm way too low. I want to go for some 1v5, like flash in, bear stance, one shot somebody, but... Oh, here we go. Oh, never mind. Sometimes people will split up. They'll be like... They don't want to sit here forever. They want to, like, disperse and go farm other things and do other shit, so... Sometimes if you just, like kind of keep walking at them they'll eventually split away from each other and you can pick them off so this kid is suiciding yet again oh my god are you kidding me they're all there again
There, finally, somebody does something proactive. So the only way we're going to win this is if we go four top and I split bot. So if this was a higher elo, I would send four bot and me top because they could try and force the Baron down because I'm bot lane and we don't have smite up there. So what we're going to want to do is force them into a situation. I can 1v1 anyone on their team. Even the fed Camille, pretty sure I can still 1v1 her. I'm not, not afraid of her. So, if we go four top, that means they have to send one bottom and four top. So if we look, they're obviously going to send Camille bottom. That matches me up against their most fed player. And then the rest of my team is almost on par with the rest of their team. So, this is Ira. I know she doesn't have flash. I don't know what the fuck she's doing. I even, She literally just walked into me. Oh, okay. And... See, that's just an obvious juke. You know he's going to ward hop. You got to juke. Just got to anticipate. You, I had a feeling Lee Sam was going to ward hop Q. Uh, okay, so this person is just 1v fucking knighting my entire team. Oh. Oh, yeah. I think he almost won that. So they're going to rotate mid, try and stop mid. Camille's going to have to base top. I can maybe get a push off here. Uh, I could run over and try and save that guy, but... Uh, yeah, I should. If I had have reacted faster, I could have saved him, probably. Unfortunately. So he's probably just trying to wait for a ward or something. Can I please kill somebody? Holy... Sivir's probably right here, tried to come over and defend him. Yeah, there she is. Right there's Zyra. They're dead. Uh, this guy's gonna die again because that's all he does is die. I'm gonna just try and greed take away this infernal because why not? This is risky. They could collapse on me. I don't even have smite. Okay, that was super risky. <laughs> they almost stole it. But that's I don't recommend doing that. That was just me not giving a fuck and going for it. So we want to stay super farmed. On Udyr, you need lots of CS, you need lots of items to be effective. So if we look at the CS charts, 146 to 212. Kill participation, still out. Cart kill participation against them. We're trying to solo put this team on our back, so we're going ZZ Rot. I want that extra move speed so I can't get caught. I need... It. A little bit of hybrid resistance. Or oh, if our team wins a fight here, that's amazing. Okay, they're gonna get cleaned out here. Uh, he's arcane shifting forwards. Um, yeah, no idea what he's doing. I don't really know what to do here. Uh, I might be able to just walk up behind Kogma and kill him. Yeah, that was... I don't know, that was pretty... Hmm. That was interesting. Let's see if this kid face checks. So we popped the GA. Uh-oh, that's... So basically my thought process, she's face checking, she can't see me, I'm just going to walk in and stun him. So you just got to play calm, I don't know, I, I mechanically I misclicked a few times there, but all in all it was pretty good. So here we got to communicate with our team.
No one wants to listen ever. I'm gonna try and pick up my blue. They might even do Baron. They could easily do Baron. If I show bottom, they could definitely do Baron. We need pressure. We need to get pressure in that area so that they don't get into position. You don't want to give. You don't want to let them set up vision and clear vision for free. You never want to just give away vision. So you want to like, even if like you can't, you know you can't fight it, but like just kind of be in the area, like in a safe place, but in the general area so that they can't just take your vision down for no reason. Nothing more frust- uh oh. Clear out his ward. Tell my team four top. Gotta wait. So basically, the way this works, the split push, you have to move up at the exact- what is he doing? You want to move up at the same time. See, I could run up here, but they're all missing. So I want my team to move up at the same time. You have to have equal pressure. So Camille is getting a little aggressive, so I want to add a little more pressure. It puts me in danger, but I don't want them getting engaged on for free. So there's three bottom. There's three bottom right now, and three bot. Literally three bottom. They need to just keep hard shoving in. This is what this draws. At pressure, three bottom. Let them move up the map a bit. Now I'm going to keep going. They're going to have to send some people down here to defend against me. They're going to have to. Or I'm just going to run this Kog'Maw over under his tower. So two bottom. They're, they're 4v3 top. Should be able to win a fight. Oh, they're 4v2 top right now. They're finally switch tagging out the Camille. So Camille can't attack their team because she has to be down here with me. But she can't do shit to me. Okay, our team's still gonna lose, even without Camille. So Camille's way too fed. My team's way too shitty. It's basically... Camille's fourth auto or whatever is just a joke. Like, that, that ability... There's no reason it should deal that much damage. So I just tell her to take a seat. She's gonna keep pedaling out of here, buying our team time. Gonna pretend to recall, she's gonna do that, I'm just gonna walk away. Okay, oh, she's getting fa fancy here. Wow, that was pretty cool. Meanwhile, top, their most fed player tied up. Finally, the team decides to do something effective. She's their team. I just tied up 13 kills for that long. 13 kills I tied that up. And now she's just going to die because she's 1v3 with no all. See how that works? I wasn't just down there for no reason. I made sure my team had pressure. Took away all those kills. All that gold, most fed person by far. Took that away from the fight. My team was able to win because the rest of the team's not that fed. Even though I died, I blew her flash, blew her all. I, I could have lived, but I mean, I couldn't run away because of her all can't move. Um, that's all you gotta do. So now, I'm gonna pick up a dead man's plate. I wanna be fast. I want mobility. I wanna go back bottom. I wanna play around Baron also. So basically, Baron is my next objective. Well, I want. I want. Dragon, then Baron. So, what I want to do to set up for Baron, Top's gonna push. We got a top inhib already, right? So, we know Top's gonna push on its own. But Bot's not gonna push on its own, but we can make it push on its own. So, we're gonna clear away this dragon. We're gonna ping these guys off. Lee's gonna maybe try and seal this. I don't know if he's here. We're not gonna let him. Team's gonna get engaged on, maybe. Hopefully, not. Hopefully, just spam ping the shit out of them to back off. So what we want to do here, you want to kill just a few of these minions. So now, the I'm going to drop my ZZ Rod here too. So, I, we're going to be three up in minions against... These waves are going to balance out, but we're going to have those additional three casters against them. So I'm coming in. Bot's going to push. Top's going to push. 
and we're going to push mid manually. We're going to go right through. We're going to walk right through the tower because we don't give a fuck and just zone them right back. If they want to step up, I will flash and kill one of them. If they want to step up. I dare one of them to step up. There's nothing they can do. Now we're going to go straight to Baron after this. Straight to Baron. Top's pushed in. They have no pressure top. They have no pressure bottom. They can't contest this. Actually, they... We have too much vision. I mean, if they if they were going to come and try and contest it, we could back away. We have lots of time. But it's basically a free Baron. All this pressure, everything's shoved in. Gonna take away the Baron. Now we're gonna go five bottom. Don't have enough money for anything else, so we're just gonna go with, I'm gonna go with the Wrath Potion. Their top and hip's probably gonna respawn soon, so we can't rely on that for very long to keep pushing in. So we're gonna send four bottom. I'm gonna Baron up. I'm gonna try and Baron up the top waves. Hopefully these guys push in here, get pushed in bottom. I don't want to Baron these up yet. Actually, yes I do, I want to defend them. I don't want to let Camille clear these minions out for free. I want these super minions alive. They're going to come up top. Try and come at me. I'm just drawing time, I'm drawing pressure. Just, just got to draw pressure. I'm still drawing pressure. They're still going to keep coming top. Still drawing pressure. They're, they're, now they've got to make a quick decision. They've got to make a quick decision on who to go on. Do they go on me or do they go bottom? What do they do? This kid's decision is to fight me in a super wave. Lee's still sticking around. Lee doesn't know what the fuck's going on. He doesn't know where you're supposed to go. He doesn't know his ass from a hole in the ground. Lee's still probably, he's still probably waiting around the jungle here. Lee is so confused right now. He doesn't know what to do. So I'm just going to keep walking at this guy. Keep baroning up these minions. I'm going to run back. Lee finally made the decision to base. After letting his tower get chunked out half his, half its bar. So that champion is basically really stupid. My bot lane, they're going to eventually, finally they're going to take that. Still got this kid up here stuck with me. We're going to get that in him for free. Now we're just going to run around. We're going to baron up these. Baron up all the minions we find. Push it all in. Got her easy rot. See, like I said, that in going to respawn. Now we'll just end the game. Simple as that. It's not about killing people. It's not about only split pushing. You can't just say, oh, I'm going to split push and go split push. You have to actually be thinking of what you're doing. I made sure my team had pressure top. I didn't just aimlessly run bottom and hope my team did something. That's not what you do. You have to make sure your team's in position. You need to make sure they have pressure. You need to have, you both need to have pressure, balance out the pressure. See, even with this, even with this, Dog shit Quinn on my team. Complete trash. Completely horrible. 1 in 12. Still won the game. I wasn't going around hunting kills the whole game. I, I was getting kills, but just being in the right place at the right time. Thinking about... Gotta be two steps ahead. Think about, if I do this, what's that gonna do to the waves? And then, what are they gonna have to do to react... To what I'm doing and then how can I get a pick off of what I set them up for so bot wave was shoving in earlier if you think back in the game bot lane was shoving in I knew that someone's gonna have to go from mid I know they're all mid I know someone's gonna have to go down and clear that so I clear the vision I sit in the bush pick up a free kill you just gotta work the map it's all about working the map I if you look at the if you look at this here I did by far the most damage 
to everything. 280,000 constantly. Even if you're not farming champs, if you're not dealing damage to people, you got to be killing something. If you're killing stuff, it means you're setting up waves. It means you're building pressure. It means you're getting ahead. It means you're farming. Lee Sin, 172,000. It's just how you learn. Like, I'm up 100. He has a couple more kill participation. He was in a few more team fights. I mean, quite a few. He also has eight deaths. But I have, what's that, 113 CS on him? That's a, that equates to a lot of gold. It's a lot of gold. I hope this guide helped you out. Thanks for watching, guys. If you made it to this point in the video, you obviously liked it. So make sure to smash that like button. It really helps. Make sure to subscribe for more guides like this. Don't be afraid to drop a comment down below on what kind of videos you want to see. I'm always reading them. I'm always replying to them. And I always want to make what you guys want to see. This has been a new deer guide with TIE 14 League. I'll see you all in the next video.